welcome back to another episode within our series for Khan Showcase. Um, today, we have a very special guest with us, Linda Steffens. Uh, Linda, how's it going today? I'm very well. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. Yes, very excited to learn all about Linda today. So uh, tell us a little bit about your journey in the beginning. Uh, first off, where, where are you based out of? And then tell us about um, the journey into becoming uh um into the into the profession early on sure uh so i'm based on the gold coast uh in australia so it's a, a lovely seaside place and uh a beautiful place to live in the world so that's very lucky uh it's early morning for me here and I think uh, late afternoon for you guys, the way you're feeling this. So um, I'm often getting up early to work with US clients. So uh, this is quite normal for me. Um, but my journey in the accounting industry, uh, I'm not somebody that accidentally fell into accounting. I walked straight up to the door and I banged on it because at the age of 14, I already knew that I wanted to be an accountant. I saw debits and credits for the first time during my schooling and double entry bookkeeping and it all had to line up. It had to balance. My world just became a happy place and it became organized. So I knew very early on that I wanted to be an accountant and that's where my love affair with the accounting industry started. And it's now 30 years or more later uh, and I'm still here. And I absolutely love it. It's uh, been the best thing that I've ever done and it's taken me around the world and I get to do what I love every day now. So it's it's just been wonderful. Mm. Wow. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I love hearing that because... Um, a lot of the times when I when I have um, a guest like yourself, you know, they it's an impact. There's a, a something impacted at some point in time in their life, or they were influenced, or it was like an aha moment, right? And this is great. You were just yeah. bored. <laughs> No, I was just in there straight from the beginning. And I have to admit, Chris, I do get a bit miffed when I hear people representing our accounting industry say, I accidentally fell into it or something happened or, you know, because there are a lot of us out there that are like me or there may be some young people out there that feel that way. And because perhaps the way the industry is a little misrepresented now that they may make a decision you know that might not it might sway them so nah I walked straight up there and I was going to be an accountant from data and it's been public practice accounting or what you guys call a CPA uh the whole way through so yeah that's what I've been doing so do you still have uh are you still active with your firm or that you've transitioned over time um can you talk about I have that transitioned yes absolutely so I was a practicing accountant from oh well for about 20 plus years about 21 years something like that and okay. then I transitioned transitioned into the practice management of a firm and became high level management and then I owned a couple of my own uh, boutique firms as well and from there then uh, I transitioned into training and coaching and helping raise up the accounting industry is what I do now and so and that's really just some of the most impactful work that I get to do every single day so I'm loving it. So in in doing this um uh, so you're 20 years in practicing account. What made you kind of want to help, right? You obviously being an account, you already you're born to help. You're you're willing and wanting to help out your clients for sure. But yes. what what triggered a turning point to be like, you know what, we can do this better. I can help in a different way. What what happened? There's, there's a very clear trigger, and it was probably uh, boiling and bubbling over time. And as I reached at the stage where I was working with clients and I was actively managing their accounts and, and looking after them, they would sit across the desk from me and I could see that they needed help and they needed, you know, help with their day-to-day -day business and, and things like that. And all that I had in my tool belt was this thing called compliance, which is tax returns and account preparation. And it was just not cutting the mustard. So, you know, I became extremely frustrated 
And I look back at my career and I, I wonder in hindsight if there was someone like me around when I was back at that point, how things might have been different. So that's what I want to do for others. Yeah. It was a, a quick, a long, quick story. Um, when I, when uh, I had to teach myself how to swim, this is like 25 years ago. But yeah. since I taught myself how to swim, I ended up being a very successful swim coach out of nowhere, just because I went and I was focused on it and practice it. And I was like, holy cow, I could swim. This is great. <laughs> and then I started working at a pool. And then the next thing you know, people start talking and re referrals. And I had this whole business that I didn't even want out of yeah. just being focused, determined and knowing how to do it because I was immersed in the practice of it. And that's what Absolutely. I feel like you've done. And look, you know, I think we all come to accounting to help people. We're service individuals and we've, we've got big hearts and we're humble people and we just want to help and make a difference. And whatever I can do with what I'm doing now and the services and the training that I provide now, if I can help accountants to help more and do more impactful work, then that's a really good thing. What would you say is... Um your ideal client, right? So somebody that is uh, wanting and willing to change or been thinking about a specific aspect, like what, what, what would, um, what would an ideal client for you be like? Yeah. So at the moment, we're looking for those accountants that want to take the next step in their career. And for us, um, we train and train in people skills, uh, particularly around conversations around business advisory services. But the actual training that we have is transferable no matter which part of accounting you're in whether you are doing some compliance activities or you are doing advisory type uh, activities the conversation techniques and the the templates and everything that we have within the training just helps you be a better accountant it just helps I just ups the people skills and you know that's certainly something that I suffered with you know is is a lack of confidence and not really sure if I could really talk to people there's I've written a book and there's a lot of stories in there about me being an introvert and and how that's played out in my life and if anybody would have told me that I'd be fronting a business that requires me to be on video, on podcasts, on social media every other day, have my picture blown up and spread all over whatever, I would just say they're absolutely mad because that is not me. But I've really connected to uh, helping the accounting industry. And if I can just get over myself to do that and share my story, and it might just help one one other person and then that's all worth it, right? Yeah. No, that's really, because uh, uh, that's really good to hear because, you know, um, I have, I'm in, I'm the opposite. I'm a very extroverted. I <laughs> put course. me on a billboard <laughs> and I will, I will be waving next to it, right? I just, <laughs> it's the, that attention, I guess it's because I'm an only child. So anyways, um, <laughs> I've so learned I, I to do totally some of that and I'm comfortable with that now, Chris, you know, but it's yeah. it's certainly been a learned skill for me. And I think if I, you know, if, if anybody wants to take one thing away from today, public speaking, those sort of extroverted things that we see and, and or talking to clients or having meetings with clients, I can't do that because I don't, I'm not a people person or I'm an introvert. That's actually wrong. That's all skill based. So we can yeah. learn it you know, and you just need somebody to take you on that journey with them and with you and support and guide you. And and it's all skill-based. You can learn it if you want to. I like that. I love that story because it really resonates with me because it, to me, it's just easy. It's natural, but it's not. It's not. I know no, people are no. fearful, terrified. Yes. Uh, and, and, <laughs> And just don't want to even try it, even with, you know, um, encouragement and, and, and support. So I totally get that. Um, so that, yeah, that's great. I've got, that I've got a story that, uh, oh. you, know, you know, when we're put on the spot 
and all of a sudden your mind as an introvert your mind can just go blank and because of who we are as accountants as well we're we're deep thinkers so putting us on the spot is really a no-no uh, because our minds will just go blank and I call it having an attack of the crickets so all you've got there is just crickets in your head so there's a few funny memes floating around social media somewhere with me got crickets flying around my head so yeah because <laughs> here they have like it's a little like deer in the headlights like oh no type yeah of work. Uh, exactly exactly but, uh, yes australia we have a lot of insects and bugs so we bugs. use crickets <laughs> that's awesome um so besides uh being an awesome uh, coach and working with your clients, uh, what do you like to do for fun? What are you doing outside of work when you, you know, mentally separate? Um, yeah, it's really uh, anything with a view for me, Chris. Uh, I love to just position myself, whether that's uh, I, I live near the water, so I'm very blessed to be able to sit and watch the water from my balcony. So I love that. I love walks as well, just, you know, grounding myself because there's so much thinking going on all of the time. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm a big animated film fan, so I love to just immerse myself in uh, a bit of binge binge movie watching from time to time. So particularly love Pixar and, and Disney and some of those films that just, you know, have a nice positive message and things like that. But I just love watching them. Disney made it's inside out too. I'm really looking forward to it. So I agree yeah, with you. On the that'd be great. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you have to, uh, same thing here. I actually just moved from New York down to South Florida, live by the water. And I just, I could walk on the beach for two hours and it feels like yeah. a minute. Um, yeah. So I get that too, but you need to separate. So that's good. Um, yeah. Be that mindfulness. Um, before Great. we wrap that, up. That's something yeah. we've got to really practice a little bit more, Chris, yeah. is mindfulness because it's very, we're very good at focused work. We're very yeah. good at just sitting down for hours on an end. That's what makes us great accountants. But uh, if we do that too much and are not aware of how much we're doing that, then, uh, you know, that obviously can impact us, our mental health and our physical health as well. Spot on. No, I told, I've learned to learn how to manage my energy and manage and control yeah. and focus on it. Not, and so you're not too wound up, right? For no reason. Um, right. And so, but that's, you know, stopping, breaking, just closing your eyes, just taking a moment to yourself, no matter what you're doing. Um, I totally agree with that. Just, just exactly. stop, right? If things are like a tornado, it's not really, yeah. just stop. <laughs> just take stop. a moment, <laughs> gather everything and, you and you're fine. Yeah. You have control. That's it. You can just stop. Exactly. Yes. Um, well, you're fun to talk with. I could talk to you all day. Now, <laughs> before we wrap up, um, any last, any, uh, uh, any expert tips or any last um, thoughts on your mind to share with our audience for today? Uh, look, I think it just goes back to connecting to why you became an accountant in the first place. If you connect to what you really would like to achieve from being an accountant and uh, go out and find people to follow on social media, read stuff, immerse yourself in information, educate yourself, not just around the technical things that you need to know for being an accountant, but a whole lot of really cool life stuff. You know, we're talking about mindfulness and, and things like that. And uh, learn who you are and then just run your own race. We cannot be anybody else. We, we are individuals, we are who we are, and we just need to play to our strengths. So I think that's really important. Run your own race. Well said. I just sent you a LinkedIn request. It's a first time meeting today. Like I said, I could talk to you all day. Really okay. appreciate you taking time out and to uh, to sh uh, share some insight with our, our audience. So thank you so much. All right. You're very welcome. Thank you. All righty. For everyone else, take care. We'll be back soon. Um, be safe and uh, we'll all see each other very soon. Bye-bye.